Hello everybody, this is Thomas Mark, and uh, I'm on a boat. <laughs> yes indeed. It's been a while since I've last uploaded a video. Uh, four, months, four months according to YouTube, so I figured, uh, well, no time like the present, huh? <laughs> Uh, I'm doing, actually doing several things here. Uh, this particular game, for those who don't know, is uh, Silent Hunter 4. Um, uh, a game I am seriously considering actually doing a Let's Play of. But I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. Uh, I'm also doing several other things here. Uh, I'm testing audio levels, both of the game and my mic. Uh, I wasn't very happy the last time I did a test. Uh, yeah, I sounded a little bit more muffled than I really thought I should. And... Well, I have to do the old thing where I'm pumping music and sound effects through the speakers. So we're seeing how well that picks up as well. So I'm moving stuff around as well. So I can uh, make sure all the sound gets to me. I also probably should check my audio levels. Again, this is a little bit of a test here to start. But I have uh, stuff I want to talk to you about. Okay. So we'll see how that all works out. So anyway, like I said, I've not actually posted anything for four months. And I'm sure people are wondering, you know, am I only to quit? What? Uh, well, sort of I did. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, there's a numer numerous things that uh, has kept me away. Uh, actually, more recently, the only thing that's really kept me away is the fact that I haven't posted in so long. Uh, <laughs> Which may sound odd, but uh, honestly, I was sitting there looking, well, three months I haven't posted. I feel silly posting now. So, But I figured the best way to get around that is to post. Uh, uh, as for what I'm planning on doing, uh, that's another thing I was want really kind of going over is what do I want to uh, actually continue doing a Let's Play of? Because um, I've started several things. Uh, some things work out all right, some other ones not. Uh, the first thing... I know a lot of my subscribers. Uh, they like they subscribe because they like the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, and uh, I like Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. And in fact, I think one of my first videos I said one of the reasons I want to start doing a Let's Plays is, you know, I can kind of pick up where I left off, uh, you know, and finish some games. Uh, for example, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I've played a lot of the scenarios I've already actually played for you guys. I'm starting to get into ones I've never done before. But it always kind of around that time, you know, my interest would wane. And then by the time I went back to it, I wouldn't remember what I was doing. I'd start over. Well, I don't really have that problem because I've been posting everything I've done up to this point. So, uh, you know, my interest has kind of gone back. And uh, I will be continuing that. Uh, I will probably do some recording this weekend. That is my plan, depending on how well this test itself works. Uh, there's actually a few other things I'm testing. I'm also testing to see how Fraps likes recording to an external hard drive. Uh, because another problem I've always had with my Rolls plays is uh, I can only record for so long, whereas this hard drive has way more space than I use on my hard drive space. <laughs> like four times as big as my hard drive. And it's mostly empty. Uh, a few things on there, but mostly stuff I like to back up with but if this test works well and we you know have decent uh, audio levels uh, you know a decent frame rate right now I'm sitting here looking at a frame rate of uh, 26 25 I'm not doing anything obviously uh, I mean, heck, even when I turn move my camera around it's not really changing much so this is all positives uh, Back to uh, you know the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. We're doing that. Uh, I know several people requested me. I'll uh, make them peeps. I haven't forgotten you. <laughs> I've I've actually made a little notation on my uh, envelope here to act, add you guys. So I've not forgotten you. Uh, I will add you as soon as uh, I get back into it this weekend. Uh, if I do by some chance actually miss you, so, so people ask through different methods. The best way to actually ask me anything is actually send me a direct PM in YouTube. Uh, the uh, second best way is actually post on my channel. Uh, probably the worst way is to actually post on one of my, you know, videos itself, which isn't to say, you know, don't post on the videos. Um, I I read all of them. It's just a matter of, you know, when I'm going back through later on, it's nice to have them all kind of in one place, these requests. But, uh, let's see. Uh, the other, uh, uh, I know a lot of people wanted me to do the uh, Mech Commander. Um, the main problem I've had with Mech Commander 
is mainly uh, uh, it's, it's not recording it it's putting it together afterwards uh, those who are, aren't used to making videos there's more than just recording the video I could actually post up the raw footage but they would be huge files that aren't very long <laughs> Uh, because wait, wait, Fraps, Fraps records a lot of data, and it does it very quickly. Uh, you know, and that kind of goes back to you know the hard drive space issue I was speaking about earlier, which this seems to have fixed. I, I'm actually very happy with this. Uh, I'm not really playing you know anything cutting edge here. Uh, this is several game years old, but it does have a mod, the graphical mod. Uh, it's actually pretty. I played a little bit of it last night. I've actually been watching other let's plays, but uh, it's another reason actually I finally encouraged myself to go ahead and do it. I've been watching other Let's Plays and kind of wanted to get back into it. Um, but back to Mech Commander. Uh, because of the difficulties I have in putting the video together afterwards, and it's mainly an audio sync problem. Uh, if, if I didn't have the audio sync problem, even though it's inconvenient to use Virtua Dub, which is this backup program I have to put videos together, uh, I would do it. Uh, but because I do have that annoying audio lag, um, that's distracting to me, and I, 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 I don't really know an easy way to fix that. If I could figure out an easy way to fix that, or find a different program to put these videos together, I'd probably do it. Uh, the main problem being, uh, I don't know if I've discussed this before, uh, but uh, the main problem being, uh, the, uh, the main program I use is called AVS. And AVS will actually filter out the fraps layer. Uh, like right now, I have in the corner here, where I've got my... Uh, you know, the mouse here. There's a little red uh, uh, numeral that, uh, first of all, it's because it's red, I know what I'm recording, and it's also telling me my frame rate. Now, my, you probably can't see that because my, my software filters that out automatically. Well, the problem with Mech Commander is everything is on that layer. Uh, so it filters out everything. You can hear things just fine when I, you know, when I put the video together, but you can't see anything. So, how, with the exception of the opening video, for whatever reason, the opening video, which was in the first you know movie of that series, you could see, you know, you could see what I was doing, but uh, or, or see the video. I didn't. Well, I wasn't talking over it or anything. Uh, but uh, so, because of the difficulties with that, uh, that's probably more or less just permanently on hold, uh, which I hate to do because I love that game. I, I would love to play it. Uh, but it is too much of a hassle, and there's too many other things I want to do. So, um, which kind of brings me to some of the other ones I've done. Uh, Evil Genius is out. Um, problem I've had with Evil Genius is it's. Uh, I like Evil Genius. You know, it's not a bad game. It just takes forever to get anything done. Uh, if you've watched my videos, you see that. And while yes, technically I could cut out some of the lulls, I don't want to. I don't want to stop recording because you never know when something's going to turn up. And again, it's kind of one of those things. It's more hassle than I really feel it's worth to do. Uh, never really seemed to be that popular anyway. So uh, that's out. Uh, that's probably going to be discontinued. Um, Thief. Thief is as, as I feel like it. It's always been that way, and I, I don't feel like it very often. Uh, but I don't have any problems, you know, playing it. I don't have any problems putting it together. So again, it's just going to stay in the same status it has been, uh, you know, <laughs> whenever I get around to it. Uh, let's see here, what other one? Do I do? Oh, uh, Warband. I am going to continue Warband. I know a lot of people like that one. Uh, a lot of people like, you know, watching Let's Plays of Mountain Blade. I know there's a lot of people that do it. Uh, so, I, you know, I intend to do it. I, I enjoy it. It's, it the Warband's actually the game that actually made me decide... Actually made me decide to go ahead and go through with you know, doing a Let's Plays. It wasn't Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I, worked, I picked Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 because I'm familiar with the game and felt I could do it well. And I kind of wanted to get used to the system, uh, but but Warband is a game I actually always felt I could do good, uh, you know, let's plays of. Uh, so th those are the current ones I'm actually doing. That's kind of where I stand with all of them. Uh, going forward, I do have several other ideas I'm wanting to do. Um, if anybody's actually been to my YouTube channel page, I do kind of post kind of where, where you know my thought patterns as far as what is upcoming. Uh, one of the things on that list I'm not going to be doing. I'm, I need to update the list. Uh, Terran Conflict, uh, uh, X3 Terran Conflict. Uh, 
I like the game. It is well monikered, a single player EVE Online. <laughs> Uh, EVE Online, you know, trying to record Terran Conflicts like trying to record EVE Online. There are moments where it is awesome, but the build-up to get to that awesome is lengthy and boring and time-consuming, and that's why I don't play EVE anymore. I like just watching the eye candy, you know, watch people's other people's videos of those ships and so forth. Um, Terran Conflict's kind of the same way. It, it just takes so long to get stuff in order, and the payoffs aren't as big as I would like. Uh, so, it, it just, it's out. Um... Like I said, you know, if it was a matter of I only have a you know, you know, two or three games, well, you know, I might do it. But I've got so many other things I would like to do. Uh, for instance, uh, I love and I have always loved 4X games. Uh, so one of the ones you're probably going to be seeing pretty soon, and and one of the reasons I want to actually get into some of these 4X games is these are games I could do in one setting. I I could sit down, you know, for a night, depending on you know the difficulty and length settings apply. apply and probably do all the recording in one night and get an entire series of videos out to you guys. And they're games I love. Uh, the one one that's really sticking out in my mind I want to do is uh, Galactic Civilizations 2 with all of the expansions and no mods. Uh, I will more than likely get started on that. I think I have to reinstall it. but I'm actually, I haven't actually played it in a while, but it's one I really want to do. Uh, uh, Master of Orion 2 is one I want to do, although I understand... Uh, Another Let's Player uh, that named Grimoth has recently started one, so you might want to go look at that. Cause it sounds like he's playing on a really hard level, uh, difficulty level, which I probably won't do to start out. I've not played M Master of Orion 2 in so long, uh, but it's one I kind of want to do. Uh, there's other ones, Master of Magic. Uh, uh, this one, you know, that's an old. That's one we used, I used to play when I was a teenager. Uh, played it all the time. We loved it. Uh, Birth of the Federation, possibly. Uh, there was a Star Wars one, you know, when I was younger. I played. I don't remember what it's called now. It wasn't Empires at War. It's before Empires at War. No. Probably won't do that one anyway. It's kind of had a real-time element to it that I didn't much care for. But look for those. Uh, look for some of these shorter games uh, for me to me to actually uh, delve into. Uh, just because I can actually go through and do an entire set, you know, an entire set of videos in one night and. It's a you know call it good, and I mean you know, and they're games I enjoy enough that I think I could do a fairly decent commentary. So, uh, let's see. Uh, something else I'm planning on doing is uh, it's not really a let's play per se, but it's going to be uh, videos with World of Tanks, and eventually World of Aircraft and World of uh, uh, Battleships or Warships. I remember what it's called. I think it's Battleships. Uh, and it's basically going to be a, uh, a tank roll call, and the, my purpose of those will be to actually display one specific tank. Obviously, I will have to have unlocked it, and more than likely, I'll, I'll wait until I actually upgrade it so it actually doesn't suck. <laughs> uh, do a, play, a couple playthroughs with it, uh, show you, show off the tank, and uh, uh, you know maybe give you you know my thoughts on it. I'm no, by no means some kind of ace at the game. It's just I enjoy playing it. Uh, and they're all those games. You know, I'm sitting here I'm looking at Silent Hunter 4, and it, there's something about, you know, war machines that just really spark my imagination and make me giddy. And that's one of the things that, one of the many things I, you know, I like about World of Tanks. And uh, naval, actual naval ships is uh, ones I like the best. So you can imagine I'm really looking forward to World of Battleships. Uh, speaking of naval, uh, this game <laughs> kind of goes against my, you know, idea here of let's do short games, because this is not a short game by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I mean, there is a speed up time button, but even then, uh, it takes a while to play this game. Uh, there isn't, isn't going to be, you know, one setting, you know, finish a campaign, uh, unless I do it uh, Iron Man mode, which I won't do. Uh, I do. I do intend to do this. Uh, I really enjoy this game. Uh, you know, other people have done Silent Hunter uh, run-throughs. Uh, I know uh, Jeff Major, another Let's Player, uh, one of Jeff. Uh, he he does. Uh, he's done one, a really good one, in fact. Uh, he's he's actually who got me thinking I wanted to do one of these. Um, uh, J2 John Jeremy does one for Silent Hunter Five. 
which is pretty. Uh, actually looks a lot better than this one does. Uh, he does a really good Let's Play of that. Uh, uh, the reason I'm not doing that one is, as opposed to this one is uh, the, the setting. Uh, I, I don't really much care for playing uh, the Atlantic U-boat deal. I like the Pacific. Of uh, World War II, the Pacific theaters fascinates me the most. Mainly because it in my mind, uh, you know, being an American, uh, this was our war, part of the war, uh, if that makes any sense. This is the one where it was a little bit more personal. I don't know. I mean, this is before all before I was born, obviously, but it just kind of in my mind is, you know, World War Two. this was, you know, America's war. I know we're, you know, we were heavy in Europe and Africa and so forth, but that's just my mind, in my mind, how I think of it, and that's what fascinates me about the Pacific Campaign. Because, um, honestly, it was... Uh, that's a generalization, but it was largely... I am not going to say that, because... I'm going to have people point out that it isn't you know, just the Americans and the Japanese, but it's kind of... It's just how I think of it. I know I know that it, that's an oversimplification, but... Uh, Anyway, that's why I chose this specific, the, the on this theater. Uh, plus, you know, the graphic quality isn't quite as good, but that means I can record it a little bit easier. Honestly, I'm I'm, I'm still sitting here on Windows XP. This is why I got to pipe sound through my speakers instead of doing the audio mix. I'm on XP. I really should upgrade, but especially with games coming out that require uh, DirectX 10, such as Sword of the Stars 2, which I was really looking forward to until I found out. Oh, wait a minute, I can't play it. <laughs> uh which apparently it was a good thing I got that refund on it because it didn't release well. Uh, although I am confident they will fix that. And maybe by the time they fix it, I'll have Windows 7. But that will not be today or anytime soon because that costs money. <laughs> More money than I got, and I would probably want to do a new system if I did it. Oh, I don't know. Headaches. I don't, I don't even want to think about the headaches all that would do. Probably wait till my computer dies and then fix it probably be the worst time to try to fix it. Uh, anyway, I digress. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to mention, uh, I may do some uh, one-off Let's Plays. I mean, I'll call just that Let's Play one-offs. Uh, and the purpose of those is sometimes I just get it in my mind, I want to, you know, do some recording of this, you know, some random game. But it's a game that, like, for example, Plants vs. Zombies. I can't imagine actually doing a series of videos on that, but I'd kind of like to play it, you know, a couple times. So, uh... You know, and, and, you know, if I pick a game and it turns out, hey, this actually turned out well, let's actually do a full thing on it, you know, so be it. Uh, as far as that's concerned, you know, uh, feel free to you know, give me suggestions. Um, <laughs> the only suggestion I will not honor is uh, 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 Minecraft. <laughs> I can't imagine trying to do a Let's Play on Minecraft. Um, honestly, other people do it well. Uh, uh, other people do it extremely well. Uh, uh, the Augs cast, uh, they they put on a very good show. Uh, they they, you know, they they have they they devote actual resources and expertise towards you know making a really good show for Minecraft. Uh, I would highly recommend that. Uh, there was another one I saw not too long ago uh, that actually followed some of the same formulas. Uh, uh, Two girls, one Minecraft, I think is what it was called. Yeah, I'm positive that's what it's called. Uh, they're a little bit uh, giddy for my taste, but yeah, it was okay. It was a pretty good uh, run. I mean, they're still going, as far as I know. I kind of turned over to the you know the Augs cast, but uh, uh, both of those are high quality ones. That I wholeheartedly recommend you go watch. They're still making more. Uh, but just don't don't see me to make you know if I'm if I put something up it's just because I'm wanting to display something I've you know made or my friends have made it's not going to be anything like a let's play of it <laughs> like I said I can't I don't even know what I would talk about other than you know maybe you know what, what's that Farlands or bust he he just talks about whatever random thing he wants to talk about while he walks in a straight line which is you know he actually does you know it's a good program and all of it. Okay, I'll, I'll recommend that one to you guys too. He he does. Uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but just look up Farlands or Bust, you'll find him. Uh, but yeah, I think I've rambled on enough. Uh, oh, I did want to mention. Uh, I on this, I will be using a uh, with this game. 
a uh, Trigger Maru mod, which was introduced to me by uh, Lord Cucumber, which is on the page uh, uh, Lords of the Greenleaf. Uh, he, uh, he doesn't know me at all, but uh, yeah, I've been watching one of his Let's Plays as well, and, and he's using this mod, and I actually like it. I, I, after reading about it, it's kind of a realism mod. Uh, makes the game a little less of a shooting gallery and a little bit more suspenseful in various ways. Plus, you know, ups the graphics a little bit. Uh, so, I guess give a little shout out to him. He's who introduced me to this mod, and this is a mod I'm going to be using. Whenever I get around to it. I don't know when I'll start. Uh, until then, I guess <laughs> you might want to go go over and see what he's doing. But, uh, uh, I probably should stop uh, rambling here. Oh, well, one other thing, I wanted to go ahead and finish doing some sound tests here. Just want to see thing, how things sound. I'm going to go ahead and do a little crash dive here. And more likely I'm going to finish this out with just uh, going to crushing depth and see what happens. Because <laughs> I've never done it. I've always thought it was a bad idea. I mean, one thing I could do, as far as sound is concerned, is do a uh, commentary after recording. I just don't want to do that. I, I like it better actually doing kind of a impromptu, uh, impromptu let's play here, uh, for a variety of reasons. Even in uh, like high school, it's a speech class. I never did outlines or anything like that. I always. I always did everything impromptu, and I did it well. It, it, it just kind of comes natural to me to do that. Uh, I'm going to go to Crushing Depth. I guess I, it's before. I, I'll, I'll never get to 450. But. What are you doing? Punch in the hatch. You can't get out. You're, in for the ride. You're along for the ride. So... He's kind of. I didn't know he actually used, moved his lips to talk. I don't know what he's looking at, though. I mean, the gauge is over there. I don't know what he's reading off of. Yes. Yes, I know this. I think each of the submarines actually has a different interior, too, which is kind of cool. <sighs> yeah, we're well below the safety limit. Safety limit's by this little red line here, 150 approximately. I guess damage to your submarine will actually affect how far crushing depth actually is. But uh, apparently we can get very close to 400 here. And this old submarine, that's kind of impressive. There's 400. Oh, okay, it looks like about 425. <laughs> Bad things are happening. I can't even hear me more. There's so much sound coming from the static and water. Yeah, look at all that damage we're taking. Ah, yeah, we're, we're done. <laughs> oh, we get to see our... I don't see our submarine. Not a frame rate problem either, it's saying 27. Hmm. Well, that was. I was hoping to see our submarine. Looks like we're going up. That'd be why we can't see it. All, of, all the little bubbles are going down, which means we're probably. Yep, I can see the surface. We're going up. Whatever. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention. Uh, one of the things I was going to do different than all of those other Let's Players I mentioned was I'm going to try to play this game with 100% uh, realism. Oh, quote-unquote realism. Uh, which is to say the uh, realism settings, gameplay settings. Uh, uh, I've noticed I've never seen anybody do a Let's Play like that, which is probably for good reason. It is a hard way to play. Uh, it requires math. <laughs> Hey, we got the purple heart, and we got bread. 
Yeah, trigger Mar Mario right there. So, I guess I can show you what those settings look like. Uh, a lot of people, this is the main one. Uh, the no map contact update. <laughs> it is very hard to play without that. But I'm going to do it. I want to see what, what it's like. It should be an interesting ride, depending on how well I do my math. And uh, I will probably read up several uh, guides on how best to go about doing that to you. Uh, the only other thing I'm actually looking at is this one. The no ex external view. That, uh, that's kind of a big... In both of these, the vent camera and the external view. I mean, having them off... Well, the event camera especially, having that one off kind of prevents you, you know, kind of metaing a little bit. Uh, this one especially uh, it provides situa situational awareness that basically renders the rest of the stuff moot. Uh, well, I like the no contact, the realistic sensors and so forth. But I kind of want to turn it off just because you can't see nothing if you don't if you don't, don't turn it on, except through the periscope, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm I will make that decision when I actually finally get around to doing a let's play here. So, but you know, this is more or less a test, sound quality test. Uh, I guess uh, had this been an actual let's play, you know, stuff would have happened. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we had we had that test here in America not too long ago with a nationwide alert system. I don't even know how it went. I didn't hear it, so I guess it must not done too well. <laughs> I was probably asleep. Uh, anyway, so anyway, that kind of gives you little guys a little bit of insight on my thinking, uh, where I'm planning on going. Hopefully, this test runs well. Uh, I may go ahead and do one of the first little uh, World of Tank things tonight. Really depends. Actually, this doing this video. It's actually taking more time than I thought. I must have rambled along a lot longer than I thought. Uh, so, I probably should just go ahead and shut it off there. And I think I will. We'll see you next time. Like I said, I'll be doing some more uh, Roller Coaster Tekken 3 here this weekend, for those that you know, enjoy that. and uh, uh, Probably just po post up uh, videos throughout the week, depending on what I get out of that. Everything else as I feel like it. <laughs> we'll see you then.